Hello again everyone, I'm Tegan Berry and let's play more Ultima 8 Pagan. Last time I played, I ran into a very interesting bug. A bug that was caused by me being basically immune to damage and triggering a event that was supposed to kill me instantly, but I didn't die instantly because I was extremely resistant to damage. Maybe even invincible. Uh, well, no. It, whenever you drink a purple potion, I drank a purple potion and my guy said, I feel like fighting! So I was like, yeah, I do feel like fighting! I will fight you, Mordia! And I fought Mordia in a sense, but it just triggers a cutscene in which she tries to kill you. And instead I didn't die, so the game said, well, then I don't know what to do, because you were supposed to die. And, uh, we didn't, we didn't expect this to happen. So, so, uh, the game just froze, and, uh, that was kind of interesting, but not what I wanted. I'm gonna cast a scroll of invisibility, because I feel like it couldn't hurt. Well, except for it does make noise, and actually sound is what's getting me caught, not being sighted. But it does help the stealth factor, doesn't it? I mean, if she tries to look at me. I think my objective is that jewelry box. But I could be wrong. Considering as a like, who dares awaken the tempest? Uh, sorry, sorry. Feel a touch of the tempest power. I probably shouldn't have spoke, considering I'm invisible. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, if I can't get to the jewelry box, <laughs> now there I am. I got my hand on the. <laughs> uh, here lies the avatar. Rest in peace. Oh, well, that was nice. They decided to bury me and give me my own headstone and epitaph, and hey, I, I guess they figured out who I was eventually. They do believe me. They did figure out I was the Avatar. Maybe the maybe the Guardian told them. In any case, let's try that again. Read the diary. Mordia is asleep, and I need that dagger. I need that dagger, so I can't ex ask nicely. Okay, so if it's not the jewelry box which I am seeking... It messes with my in I swear this was not the layout my inventory had last time, was it? I think my inventor inventory got, uh, it got messed about. Somebody's been, somebody's been in my backpack. Easy now with the fast movement. I, I think I need to go in that, if I want to get to the dresser, I need to go in the other door. Is that what they're telling me? Or maybe, I, did I just go, I, I, I screwed up. Uh, sorry, I screwed up. Sorry! You'll be sorry when you get hit by an, a, a lightning bolt that causes a small mushroom cloud. I'm just realizing that it's making a mushroom cloud. I mean, explosion effect is... Miniature mushroom clouds? I mean, this game is mushroom crazy, isn't it? I mean, Mario would be happy here. I love it here. This is a wonderful world. This is a great place. I love a pagan. Oh, that's great. I, I, I take a hit and then I pick up any mushroom and then I'm a pig again. Mario, uh, yeah, m maybe Mario sh I banish you to the land of Pagan. Woohoo! <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. Owned. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, I'm. Th Gosh, I have taken a sip of the silly juice tonight, haven't I? Well, not yet, but maybe I should have. So, is there. That's a. That's a. That is a dagger. That is not the dagger, though, but it is a dagger. If I chuck a dagger at her, I would hide. If I chuck a dagger at her, is that bad? <laughs> okay. <laughs> would you like the duvet? I chuck things at you, Mordia. <laughs> oh, I'm playing with fire here, or more like lightning. Ooh, will this make me smell nice? You need this, Mordia, because you stink. You stink, Mordia. <laughs> For the lurker! What? <laughs> I, I don't know. Congratulations, you just gained dexterity for chucking things at Mordia? Hmm. Okay, so what if it isn't in the dresser? Maybe I do have to. Who dares awaken the tempest and throw things around? S -s -s sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, feel a touch of the Am I? I thought I was supposed I think I'm actually I think I am supposed to sneak in here, right? It seems like if I'm sneaking about, it does read diary. This... Mordia is asleep and I need the dagger. And the dagger is... D d d do I not need to... I thought I thought there was a separate... Okay, this is the key for this door. Then I sneak up here and I try the same key on this door and it doesn't work, right? It's not like I had the key all along and I'm a big dumb dumb head, right? I think I tried the key on this door. 
Yeah, so it's not that key. It's not that key. It's not that key. It's not that key. Yeah, so I, I don't have... I don't have the key. So maybe I should just chuck a death disc at her. If I... <laughs> you know what? Actually, it's not sounding entirely like a bad idea. <laughs> um... But it's like, uh, maybe an explosive device will knock the chest close enough that I can reach it when she's... You know, like, I set down an explosive device and walk away, and then when the explosive device goes off, there's no one to blame, but the chest has been moved a bit closer, because I can't sneak up! Can I? Can I sneak up? Can I actually sneak up? Am I... Have I just been doing this wrong? I would like access to this chest, please. Or can I... Maybe I can reach a bit further. Actually, yeah. I probably have longer arms than I'm thinking. Out. You're out. Who dares awaken the Tempest? Okay, maybe if I jump at her. <laughs> what a stupid idea. Uh, but <laughs> somehow it, it might work. I'm running out of ideas here. I thought, I think I'm doing the right thing, right? This seems familiar. No. There we go. Or am I not sneaking properly? Or am I overweight? Is it because I'm super weighty? Okay, tell you what. What if I try to drop some objects outside to lower my weight? And then try to sneak around? Maybe not be in full plate mail? Is being... <laughs> I'm trying to sneak in there while looking like a knight. Maybe, maybe that's holding me back. I'm willing to try anything at this point. Because I think... I think I'm supposed to actually... I think I'm supposed to do this at this point in the game. I think... I'm supposed to sneak in there. Like a sneaky snake. Alright, I'm about to pick up a lot of things, but... I'm just... Just trying to think of ideas at this point. It would be nice if I had everything organized in a nice little pack inside my backpack. It's just... Uh, is this... Is all this organization... Really worth the wait? Okay, so... Death... What just happened there? Oh, does the death disc actually, like, go off twice? Okay, well, that, um... That's one last table. Hey, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know death disc doesn't kill you. And I know that <laughs> explosions won't wake up Mordia outside her room. Or maybe, maybe I should just wait... Maybe I should just wait until Mordia's not sleeping in her room. Maybe that's a better idea. Okay, she's still sleeping. I'll just I'll just sleep out here. Are you are you still sleeping? All right. Yeah, I think this is an event. I think I think no matter how long I wait, Mordia is going to be sleeping in that bed. She has entered an eternal slumber it seems. It's a shame I wasted that death disc, but it's kind of interesting how it changed the decor. I know you gotta be careful how I... I was just saying how I need to be careful how I set these down. Didn't I... Did I not... Did I... Did I... What What happened there? I'm not quite 100% sure what happened there, but... I think... what I think what happened is, yeah, I set it down in a way that it bumped around and started flying through the air. Yeah, I'm starting to see... I'm starting to see what happened, actually. There was a bit of a physics explosion that led to, uh, the other kind. <laughs> of explosion. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe being at 34 weight might be enough. I'm not wearing armor. Maybe I'm light enough now? Just maybe? If not, I'm gonna go get a backpack and shove everything in the backpack. Is weight the issue? Was I too heavy? Hmm. If it was, I still need to drop a lot more. Okay, if I wanted to fully test weights, maybe I should have dropped everything. I don't fully understand what's going on here. I guess I guess maybe I will drop everything, or what? Morty is asleep, and I need that dagger. That much I do know. Okay, they just always go off when you set them down, is that it? Yeah, okay. 
Way to almost kill yourself with, uh, Destructo Discs. Destructo Disc! <laughs> okay, so... Hey, here's a crazy idea. Now that, now that I'm entertaining crazy thoughts... Oops! <laughs> it's funny how my backpack comes with me. Light a bomb! Sorry about that. Alright, read diary. Let's let's stop getting killed, shall we? So I go in here. Okay, so no nothing behind this picture. It's nothing there. She she seems to catch on as soon as I get too close. As soon as I get next to that that particular set of tiles. So I'm gonna get in the corner and just- I'm gonna move this! Yeah! I was walking around that freaking candlestick. <clears throat> Still not good enough. I feel like- I feel like I'm overweight, actually. You know what? I'm- I'm just gonna... I- I give up. I'm gonna not, like, give up on the whole Wardia thing, but... I give up on, uh, saving weight and keeping things disorganized. I can- I can give up one point of weight to put all my things in a backpack so that I have better organization. Or certain items in a backpack. I'm gonna find- I'm gonna find a backpack, put my things in that backpack, and then come back. Or maybe I should just shove my items in a barrel, actually. That would be a useful organization tool. Yeah, just... put that cheese aside. I could go for a backpack, but no, just put everything in a barrel come back for it later. Oh, it's this barrel full of, uh, full of artifacts. That way I can put the death discs in and they don't blow up. And this upside down key. Dagger. Chance. We've put down a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll just make an extra save. Just so I know... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make a, uh... A, a low weight save because I feel like even if I'm testing this theory I could just screw up my controls and and mess this up so all right I'm gonna I'm gonna drop everything but the keys and once I figure out which key I need I'm gonna drop the other keys too so that I know without a doubt that weight is not the issue it is uh, other things so drop everything Including my armor. Lose a lot of weight. It would make sense if the armor... It'd be kind of cool if the armor was what was, what was giving me away. Well, kind of cool and kind of not cool, because they're not giving me a lot of hints here, you know? I'm having to figure this out on my own. It's like, this game isn't a stealth game, and then suddenly they give you a stealth element, and then... Not only that, but the stealth element's gonna have weight rules? I mean, that is, uh, that is a bit of a tall order. You know. Or also that you need to be told by people in the game where to go. I mean, if you were a person, or a young kid, like myself, who easily gets, uh, you know, lost or not paying attention to the story, you might not even think to go here for quite a while. Which is basically what happened to me. Anyways! I have dropped everything but a pile of keys, and got five keys uh, for a total of eight weights. So, how much weight do I have without the keys? Yeah, each key is one weight, so, yeah. I guess I have some default weight, uh, weight by default. I'm going to write my diary as as not that save. Why can't I remember how to swim? I don't feel like writing a new entry. Um, because I'm not really... I'm not really stopping right now. Alright, which key is the key I need? Or did I already... No. Nope. Oops, oh, I missed the door. Oops, I missed the keyhole. There we go. And so now I don't even need to hold on to these keys. So I'm just trying to drop all these keys. Alright. Well, except for, unless one of those keys is the key I need, 
Well, okay, I'm 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 as low weight as I possibly can be, so if weight's the issue, then this time I should be able to sneak up as long as I continue to go slow. I'm gonna move the candlestick. That didn't wake her up. Okay, skip up. Nope! Maybe I need to be able to get longer arms. I I feel like I feel like that's my goal, but maybe I'm just I feel like maybe I've made a big, big misconception, actually. Uh, maybe there's a stun- maybe there's a second key, actually. Read diary. Alright, why can't I remember how to swim? Okay, so I got the one key from underneath this clock. Is there any other keys in this room, maybe? You know, the key under the candlestick, or the, the key behind the throne? No? We sure there's no key under that throne? Next time I play, I'm gonna bring up explosive and blow up that throne just to make sure. Okay. So, open that up. And get caught immediately because we are walking too fast. Okay, so, obviously making- walking faster does make more noise and get me caught more quickly. Right? It seems like it. Read diary. Why can't I remember how to swim? Of course, I'm wondering if I even need to be look. I might go back to my other save, just so I don't have to pick up all this stuff. If this isn't the answer. Or I am moving too close. I am moving too close? Maybe I was moving too fast there. I don't 100% know, actually. Read diary, or maybe do I need some sort of uh, do I need some sort of spell or ability to reach the thing? I am actually rather confused, and I keep getting myself killed. <laughs> okay. Read diary. Move along the edge. And maybe I should save it after... Okay, I'm just gonna save it after unlocking the door. Right here. There we go. Okay. That was moving too fast, right? Or was I getting too close? Ugh, dang it. Oh, I keep getting killed. Stop getting killed, my... Good friend. Ah, Avatar, the thrill of conquest is so invigorating. Well, good for you, you big red hairy jerk. Oh, you're not hairy, you big red jerk. I can't seem to even make much progress along that edge. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, it feels like I'm not supposed to be going along that edge, even. Uh, it doesn't seem like she'd be hiding a key uh, underneath that Avatar, stuff. the thrill of conquest is so invigorating. Well, good for you. Okay, so I sneak along this edge. I'm gonna sneak over here. Even though I could have easily entered through the other door. Sneak over here. Sneak over here. And now what? This is the big question. Sneak any closer, I'm probably boned, right? Nope, not quite. Jewelry box. I want that jewelry box so bad. So bad. Ooh, I want it. Okay. Just make one step closer. Can I get it? What? Oh, no. I'm moving as slow as I can possibly go. Oh, maybe... Maybe I do need some sort of... Was there some sort of, like, telekinesis or something? Maybe there was some turn. Ah, Avatar, the thrill of conquest is so invigorating. Actually, I can just walk. Hmm, I thought you needed to sneak. Huh. Can't jump, that's for sure. Hmm. I don't have any of my other gear, so... 
If it requires an object, this is not the save to be using. Oh, maybe if I enter combat mode. Nope. If anything, combat mode makes me louder. <laughs> the combat is over. Alright, let's go back to... More Dia's asleep and I need that dagger. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Um, I'm gonna start trying to solve this problem by unconventional methods. I don't... I no longer know what I'm supposed to do. I feel like... I feel like that I was supposed to sneak. Or maybe something else, but... Let's see if we can... If we can use explosives. Okay, explosive blitz! Fire in the hole! Instant! Instant lightning bolt! But wait a second. We have something... It ended up right at my feet, and also I think we have a... If there's no cutscene, I think I might be able to survive... I think we might be able to... Don't write. I think we might have an answer that is unconventional. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be fun. Alright, go inside. Mordia, I feel like fighting. <laughs> if you don't, uh, if you don't cutscene me, I think then maybe... Maybe it'll be okay. Or it could still end up to a, lead to a lockup. Uh. I feel like fighting with explosives! Boom! Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> perfume. It's perfume. Perfume, guys. That's what I've been going for this whole time. Perfume. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like a big Mr. Smarty Pants. Well, <laughs> um, is Mordia still a threat? Yeah, she is. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I do. You look a little confused. Sorry. Which you, are you gonna try to melee me? Oh, the potion ran out. Well, it's probably for the best, otherwise the game would have blocked up. So, read diary. Alright, well. I tried everything, but actually it turns out I need another key, I guess. Right? So where is another key? You know, I'm gonna get a key ring and come back. I know there's key rings out there. Or pretty sure I need another key. I emptied my inventory to everything but the keys. In fact, one more time, I'm gonna go back to the other save where I had only my keys, and I'm gonna use the keys and see what happens there again. Ah, Avatar, the thrill of conquest is so invigorating. You shut your pie hole. And once again, I did check this very thoroughly, and nothing in there. Right, I gain stats by throwing them, which is kind of cool that you gain stats by throwing things. So yeah, that's that. Actually, yeah, I can just walk along this edge and not die. But all I would have to do is unlock a door. It's actually maybe not worth the risk, but oh well, I did it. Okay, let's so just walk over here and nope. No. 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 And no. I just wanted to confirm that one more time. I touched your bust, Mordia. I touched your bust. I like to touch your bust. And I did not get busted <laughs> whilst doing it. Alright, well, since that's I did gain a stat, but I uh, don't have my gear, and I don't feel like going through that, so... LOAD GAME! Alright, we need to find another key. I... I had a misconception. I had a misconception for quite a while, but that's fine. Uh, I just was really stubborn about that... that jewelry box, but I found out what was in that jewelry box. Perfume. So... If I were a key, where would I be? That's what I said to thee. I'm just gonna open this locked chest. I don't care if there's a trap on it, I'm tough. More armored than ever. Okay, 
think I've got an extra key somewhere, but I don't know where it is, so the heck with it. I want to find a key ring first. I'll come back for you, chest. Another locked door. Dang it. Careful how you use that key. Okay, well. There's probably another way into that room, too. Alright, well, if I get the key that opens up the stuff in this castle, then uh, maybe that will be the key to that other door. Need to look around this castle and find. Okay, well, that guard will probably get pissed off if I take the stuff in that room, but. We'll find out, maybe. Ah, the basement. Yes. That would be a place where things might be hidden. Lots of tubers. And stuff. Let's make sure there's nothing under these tubers, right? Mmm, yum, yum, tuber, tuber, tuber. I love tubers and tubers and bread. Tubers and bread. You'll be dead unless you eat tubers and bread. Lots of kith fillets. Welcome to kith fillet. May I take your order? I'd like a kith sandwich and a kith... Ten-piece kith breaded kith set. I could use a basket as a storage device. I guess. How much does a basket weigh, actually, first? A basket weighs... Two, two, two points. Three points, actually. Baskets... Baskets are a fair amount heavier than, uh, like, a backpack as a storage device. So, it was... I, I thought about it, and I've changed my mind. Oh, hey, a locked door. Uh, one of those shuttery type doors that require... And I think I see the lever to activate the shutter as well. Or no, that's a candle. My bad. But the, the lever's right next to the door. Okay. I'll just go ahead and pull that lever before... Authorized personnel only, before reading the plaque. I see you, little lizard. I could probably just step on you. I'd rather use a little, uh... What was it? Skeletons. Was... There is no escape from this prison. Well, except for if you're not actually in the prison, and then... Well, sure, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. That's that's fine. But I'm not actually in the prison, so that's... A smiley face. Nice. Nice. I like it. I definitely forgot about that. Locked door... I don't think any of my keys work, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. I was looking for a key ring. I really would like a key ring. Okay, I drank a uh, red potion. Ouch. Okay, so now we know what that's like. That's a shame. Bit of a shame there. Ugh. Gotta be careful with my keys. I knew I would screw up with one of my keys eventually. Oh well, at least I have the happy face to smile at. Or, the, ha the happy face smiling at me. Makes me feel a bit better. Okay, locked doors everywhere. So, nothing I can do there unless I find a key. Which is exactly what I'm doing here. Fish, 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 delish. <laughs> Alright, any keys? Key in a basket? I would put a key in a basket. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I'm just saying that because I would like to find a key in a basket, so... Uh, can I fiddle with the well? Nope. But it is a well. Kind of strange to have a well in the bottom of a castle. Like, maybe it isn't, but... Well, I mean, a structure like that. It's... I mean, it, it would make sense to have a well in a castle, I guess, but not... I don't know, just that, that particular structure is very iconic, almost stereotypical. I don't know. I Like I... Yeah, Teganberry knows everything about wells, so let's just... He is definitely the authority on wells, so take my word when I say that something's awkward. Anyways. Uh, let's take a look at the book, I guess. It's a book. Big book of adventure. That's fine. Is there a key underneath? Nope. Alright, I'm going upstairs. I'm gonna explore the upstairs area. Nothing. Except for a desk. With a book. Which is a book I've read before. 
So I'm just gonna run around the battlements until I find a key, hopefully, or just run out of things to take, like two obsidian pieces. Glad the guards aren't very aware. Uh, did I just get some intelligence from reading? Sweet! That's cool! I had no idea that you could do that. Because I actually didn't run around reading a lot of the books when I was younger. I wasn't interested in doing a lot of reading. It, you know, it's like... You know, some of the lore... I would read some of the lore, but it just didn't... I, I, was, I, I was invested in this game for action, not as much... Uh, the other kind of stuff. Ooh, there's a key ring. All right, I was wanting. I've been wanting a key ring for so very long. That is extremely useful because I think you can actually save weights. But let me uh, let me pull up my thing just to be sure. I'm at 69 weights. Okay. 68. 67. Yep. The magic of a key ring. Suddenly, your keys weigh less. And when you use the key ring on a locked door, it will automatically go through all of your keys and try them all and, uh, and tell you if they worked or not. Okay, I think that's all my keys. Oh no, I had one more. Oh. Wait, that was six keys. Oops. Did I accidentally drop one before when I was using another state? Did I make a big goof? Well, the key ring has helped me organize my keys, that's for sure. So I won't make any more goofs like that. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to unlock a chest that was not locked in the first place. Oh, it's poison! My dearest Previn, I will regret to, <laughs> I regret to tell you that I am seeing many, many colors and will not be home from this visit as soon as I thought. My healing services will be needed here for some time as a terrible thing has happened to a small village. They drunk a flask, and two nights ago I had just finished my evening, evening rituals. I heard a terrible commotion from the town square. I ran out to see what the trouble was, only to find the town overrun by trolls. Trolls had come in search of their favorite meal, human children. How strange, but I guess that explains uh, the other story with the troll who protected the child and uh, got killed. From from house to house they went, ripping off doors and brushing aside men as they were no more than flies. As if they were, were no more than flies. Excuse me. Mothers wailed as their babies were torn from their breasts, and fathers cried in anguish as one by one their children were eaten alive. The bloody procession went on and on, and I fear the screams and sobs will ring in my darkest dreams forever. That would be pretty freaking horrifying, I must say. And then a miracle occurred from the final house. Came a cry, not of torment, but one of victory. We wait, raced down the street to the house, and inside found found that, or we found inside strewn with the bodies of the trolls, and there in the middle stood ne 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 head or Ned Nedra Nedra. That's not so difficult, but I wanted to make sure you get it right. Nedra Nedra. Nehedra, a young woman who had just given birth a few days before. She had a, a she had her newborn clutched in her arm, and and in the other a magnificent silver sword. She told us, told us, Thatas, that told us Thatas. The, the trolls burst in. She had grabbed the only weapon she had, a knitting needle and cried out to Stratos to protect her child. Instantly, in answer to her plea, the great Stratos returned the needle, turned the needle into a magnificent sword. She said the sword fa fairly danced in her hand, slaying trolls left and right until none were alive. I can find some solace in the miracle that Stratos performed. I am afraid the task ahead of me is almost overwhelming. I do what I can to ease the hurts, but the wounds of the mind Stratos gives no power to heal. I will stay here until I have done all I can, then carry then I will carry the sword, now called Protector, to Agent Argent Rock Isle. There I will prepare a small shrine. I I've I heard about this in another book about that. Yeah, so I hope I go to Argent Rock Isle, because that sword sounds pretty awesome. I miss you, my love, and I ask that you watch over our little dear Stellos until I can return. Until I can return. It is sad his mother 
must be away from or from him so soon after his birth. I must serve where I am needed. I am sure you understand. All my love, Varys. Oh, the colors, the colors. That was a um, very interesting intermission from my current situation. Okay, well, that poison didn't last very long. You think that poison's bad? Try drinking a red potion when it's not necessary. Okay, so yeah, you gotta be careful about those red potions. Now that I got my keys on the key ring, maybe I will learn that I have been a fool. And that I had the key all along that I needed. Or maybe not. I'm kind of hoping that I am a fool. <laughs> oh, because uh, then at least I'll... Oh, okay. She did leave. Okay, so she just leaves? You're telling me that I thought if I just slept and slept and slept... Okay, then. Okay, then. That just makes this really simple, doesn't it? Alright, then. So I can just march right in here. Yep. Freaking... Oh, gosh. And let me guess. It's under the pillow. I was just supposed to leave and come back. Oh, no. You can't move the pillow? Maybe it's underneath the jewelry box? Yeah, yeah. All that was in the jewelry box was these two things. I'm just gonna toss around. I'm gonna disorganize this room a bit. Uh, <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> trying to make, like, thug-like noises. Uh, I'm gonna disorganize this place, bruh. Yeah, okay. I did not have the key. Good. Kind of. It kind of makes me feel better. And it kind of makes me feel unhappy, because now I still have things to do. Can I move this candelabra? Good. And there's nothing underneath it. Okay. So what about this thing? Or that thing? Or the other thing? Alright, well... At least I've threw. At least I've strewn strewn things about. Made things di more difficult. For this is yes the normal dagger, not the ceremonial one. All right then. Yeah, it doesn't matter if Mordia is not even in here because I don't know what to do. So the door is locked. I found one key, but. I don't have another. Well, I mean, Mordia's awake. Maybe I can just maybe I can just talk directly to Mordia and she'll be reasonable. Actually, did, did you ever think about that? I did, but she was asleep, and now I, oh, I kind of wrote the idea off. All right, hey, Mordia. Mordia, greetings. You duped your plates. Are you speaking to me? Uh, yes. Who are you that dares address the Tempest? I'm Zegan. I know not your name or your face. I think you are not from Tenebrae. Where are you from? I am from Britannia. I have never heard of such a place. Either you are a liar or a fool, and you do, don't, don't look smart enough to be a liar, and I will not tolerate a fool. But she didn't... At least she didn't, like, do anything against me. Greetings, your ladyship. Oh no, tis you again. May I speak with you? Um... I thought we went through through this again. Uh, I'm from Tenebrae. You are a liar. I know all my subjects, and they know me. I will not tolerate such imp impudence. Okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, may I speak with you? Where are you from? Uh, all right. I'm glad you're giving me uh, more options. Uh, f f far away. Do not toy with me, rogue. I will not tolerate such rudeness. Are you guys gonna say that every? <laughs> Is there nothing I can say that will make you happy? So I can't be from Tenebrae. I can't be from, from Matanya. Let's try. Well, I guess my last option is Earth. Earth? What sort of nonsense is this? A place called Earth? There is no such place by uh, by such a name. You are a simple binded fool. Be gone. I can't even broach the subject of the uh, of the thingy, of the of the dagger. So surprise, surprise. Mordia is no help at all. I need the dagger. Uh, have I searched? Have I fully explored this room? Let's let's throw things about. I found one thing in this room. <laughs> Kick things about.
Actually, I get the feeling that these, this kind of flask of oil that looks like a Molotov cocktail is less powerful than the other kind, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, why not just vandalize the throne room? <laughs> That'll help things. Just gonna shut the door. Okay. Nothing. Nothing got, uh, nothing shook to the surface. I'm sure there are better uses of explosives, but until I find those uses, I'm just gonna use it. It's, it, it's actually helping with the story progress. This is not a bad use of explosives. Okay, so yeah, that pillow didn't move. It's not a movable object. Uh, I can't sleep in Mordia's bed. I'm not sure if I'd want to. There's got to be a key somewhere. I just for the life of me, cannot figure it out. And I just drank another red potion. Congratulations. Okay. Well. I certainly have used up a fair amount of my resources. I didn't save the game after I got the, the key ring, so... Despite the fact that I wasted two red potions and a bunch of other explosives and stuff, I'm going to save it under uh, this bridge is not very solid key ring not very solid huh? key ring is that the sweet song of lamentation my ear yes uh, I, I am starting to lament as well I don't know what to do! Could you tell me what to do, Guardian? Because I am not finding the thing. Alright, I'm going to take a break here, and I will be back. Thank you for watching this part of Ultima 8 Pagan. See you next time.